Hey again, I'm Toby Kovalevac with Josh down here at Trapper's Landing Lodge. We're down on the south end of Leech Lake. Josh, where are we on that big map? We are right down here, right there at the Big Pipe Island. Up the star. Yep. The south end of Leech Lake, and you're out here a lot, almost daily. Yep. You could almost agree with me that it's almost like a different lake than the west side over here in Walker Bay. Yep. What are some of your favorite, when it comes to fishing, what do you love, love about the south end, south shore of Leech Lake, and what makes it different than the rest of the lake? I like the amount of structure and the variety, so we get a lot more rocks, gravel, sand structure, whereas maybe that west side's got a little bit more uh, weeds and stuff like that, weeds, mud, and deeper water, we got a lot of shallow water, so those fish like to hang shallow over on this end, which makes it easy to target fish, find those fish, you've got a variety of different structure all the way around here that makes it unique. So those gravel, we got big gravel bars to even big rock bars over here, and they hold a multitude of different fish because they are all at that different level of depth. So you don't have to go very far to find fish on this end of the lake. So walleye fish, it's very popular. People yep. come to Leech for a couple different reasons. Forever, it's been walleyes and muskies, right? Yep. So starting on Mother's Day, we have Minnesota's fishing opener. And from then on, the fish just kind of pro progress, spread out throughout the lake. So on fishing opener, if people are thinking about coming here to Trappers next year or somewhere around early season, where do we send people early, early on for early season walleye, Josh? Early season, uh, we're unique, especially those northwest winds early in the year. Uh, right out in front of our <laughs> marina mouth is where we send a lot of people. Perfect. Actually, right from shore down here, you can catch a lot of big walleyes right from shore, which makes it really unique. Otherwise, a lot of the wind blown points, like over around Diamond Point area, uh, the Narrows up here in Brevik is very popular. And then right out, like just right out in front, Rogers Point, those areas, you're looking for more of that shoreline structure, that sand rock transitions. And that's, like I said, located right out in front of the marina, which is just an awesome spot to go to. And right almost in front of every marina mouth that's down here. And we have a lot of those down on this end of the lake. Makes sense. That's where the bait goes, right? The bait's in there yep. spawning, whatever else, warmest water. Fish are waiting just outside. We find that uh, to be true at the other end of the lake too. But down here, I could see where that would happen. So then the mayflies start to hatch, right? So that's our next yep. transition. Crayfish molting, mayflies hatch. What do the fish do after they leave that sand? So, on opener to yeah zone. they they start to go to the bigger flats those sand mud transition zones that we have up here or even those big sand gravel transitions uh, popular spots everybody likes to go to is starting to head out towards Pelican Island around then uh, pulling bottom bouncers spinners is uh, very popular out there uh, especially along you got these big deep breaks out here with the scattered rocks and boulders uh, throughout those areas or you start to start transitioning out to these little mid lake humps that have those rock sand mud transitions where a lot of those bugs are coming up out of the, out and hatching right there. That makes perfect sense. I've spent many days down there and I know with the right conditions that that Bear Island rocks, the whole Red Rock area, it's fantastic and exactly what you said, spinners and crawlers, you cannot beat it. Okay, so now we're in July, right? So yep. now it's when it's tough, it's the summer peak and it's, the bait's full of, late, or full of bait right now. So the yep. fish are full, they're, they're not so sassy, they're just kind of like us after Thanksgiving, we're sitting on the couch Right, yep. and they take advantage of that one meal when it comes by. So, where are you sending people now, and what time of day? And when the walleyes aren't biting, what are we? Where where are they so biting at? A lot of a lot of times, um, it starts to transition. The lake's very clear still. This time of year, they got lots of food, lots of those minnows. Yep. I right now, um, our best anglers right now in July or best guests, if you got a time to go out in those low light conditions, pulling crankbaits right now. Number seven shad rafts, liquor shads, uh, Selma hornets, number four hornets. Uh, mimic those crayfish in here really well. Uh, we're sending them up on to the big kind of the deeper rock flats like this variety reef area, the humps down here, Puddles Reef, cover that water, fish in those uh, low light conditions, evening, early morning bite, also gets you out of the heat for those days. Correct. We have some yeah, really, really hot, hot days yep. uh, for that. So that's where we're sending a lot of people right now. That's been their best success. It's easy to do throw it out there about 100 feet and cover water for it and you'll find fish right now. And you can do that almost year round down here, yep. but this is the time to do it. And that, and that this this pattern continues until we start to get those cold nights and now we're talking early fall, right? So yep. early fall transition can be a little tough at times, but when that fall time comes, what are the fish doing then? So they're starting to move back into those weedy bays because those bait fish are starting to move back into there, starting to move back into kind of the shoreline structures where some of that sand grass, some of that leftover cabbage and stuff is. So again, you're starting to look back up into this like Boy Bay area, 
they're starting to transition back into the shallow partridge point area and then even down here miller bay right in front of us and then we've got some good sand grass and that those weeds and they're starting all the bait fish and stuff starting to move back into those marinas so getting your pitching jigs and minnows looking for those fish or even uh, dragging a jig in a minnow seems to be pretty popular, especially when we get those big northwest winds down here. Absolutely. Then, of course, then we have ice, yep. right? And there's ice fishing down here, and you could talk more about your services, too. But when the ice fishing happened, you put your roads out here, where are people setting up come ice fishing? So, um, ice fishing, I always, the water's super clear. I prefer to fish shallow in the portables, so I like to travel out my portables. I love fishing the tops of the rock bars in like six feet or less, surprisingly. I know it fishes a lot different than maybe your Lake of the Woods, Red Lake, those things, but in evening time and six feet of water, uh, any of those, anything less, 10 to 6, I, say, I would say right in there, uh, has some huge fish on it. Uh, for most of the guys in the wheelhouses, I'm trying to set them out a little bit deeper. Usually you can see down about 20 feet, so if you want to have your lights on, all of those on, we're trying to set up on the brake lines, big giant brake lines like this, or on these little kind of mid-lake humps out here in that 16 to 22, 23 foot out there. And it's mainly a lot of times at night, but those fish are pretty aggressive. So fishing high up off the bottom, we found out it's been a very good trick out here during the winter time now. Fantastic. So that's kind of the year of, the year of fishing, yeah. uh, the south end, south shore of Leech Lake. And of course, Josh, mm -hmm. here at Traverse Landing, you have all the amenities. People can come with their boats. Talk about your rental program, your marina, everything yep. they have for a consumer like me with their boat or somebody that's coming that wants a rental boat. Like I just saw somebody just a little bit ago up at the desk here wanting to rent a boat. Yeah, so um, we have the protected marina. Our marina guys, I think, are one of the top in the whole lake. They will back in your boat for you. They'll go in and um, plug in waypoints right on your GPS, show you where to go. Uh, you don't have the gear. We've got something with our awesome pro shop here. So you can rent G. Loomis rods or St. Croix rods. Uh, 2B fishing rods, we've got it all for them. We'll get you set up with the lures, tackle, all of that, show you where to go. If you don't have your own boat, we've got a whole fleet of Lund, Lund boats out there. So um, from our 18 and a half foot crossovers, which is a great family fishing ski, it's got all the stuff on there. It's got the Tarova so you can spot lock, you can troll with it, you can do everything with those, all the way to our big 25 foot pontoons. Again, those are the fish and ski models as well. So definitely you can do both while you're coming up with us. Again, we'll point, try and point you in the right direction. We'll give you all the waypoints. We've got them all marked in those GPSs, where to go, help you out that way. Along with, we've got all the tubes, skis, kayaks, paddle boards, all that's free to use for our guests while they come up here and stay. So uh, we have everything you need for a family to come up, do fishing. You get to pack light. You don't need to pack everything. We've got a majority of it here already for you waiting for you either up in our lodge at our pro shop or down at our marina. And that's a lot of information and that you have yeah. a lot to offer here. This truly is a one-stop shop. So you've thought about it all and that's what makes Trapper's Landing so great. It's professional. You can tell everybody here cares about the place. Everything is state of the art. We're standing mm -hmm. here in front of a map. Doesn't really give this video justice as to what Trapper's Landing is, but we have the Merritt downstairs. We're standing above a beautiful bar or restaurant. By the way, what's your go-to at the Merritt? My go-to is the brisket sandwich. Brisket so, sandwich. Yep, brisket sandwich, and then for dinner, obviously, it's going to be walleye. There so. you go, walleye. So this video yep. is all about yep. walleye. Trapper's Landing Lodge, beautifully located down at the South Shore here in Leech Lake. Josh, thank you very much. Yep. That's a year of fishing on Leech Lake.